the contemporary issues on racism are no different to the historic issues in the sense that racism as a system is designed to make certain people, those it is directed towards, to be less human. Racism is a system that invests in itself and in its own reproduction. Um, so so what one is up against those, those um, very entrenched interests in maintaining the status quo. Its form has changed. It's not as overt as it used to be. It's more entrenched in the kinds of day-to-day -day culture and practices. We can all sit at the table. The fact that we are all seated at the table shows that there is equality. However, at that very table, there are some voices that tend to be more acknowledged and louder than others. We must revisit some of our discourses and the assumptions that underlie our anti-racism work. Give more voice, give skills, give opportunities but eliminate the barriers that create and foster racism. So I think the voices that need to be heard the most when it comes to racial discrimination or any kind of anti-racism work are the people who are experiencing the oppression. Young people uh, in particular need to be heard. Uh, women, uh, particularly women in rural areas, women in inf informal communities. But on the whole, I think it's a country that's crying out there's a, there's a cry by all citizens to be heard. The biggest tool that young people have are the access to the networks that we have built. Young people are ahead of the older generations and they have a much greater sense of, of um, why it matters and how they fit into these issues. Equitable representation needs to be something that is non-negotiable. It matters that we have diverse groups of people who are deliberating and making decisions that are affecting people. I think South Africa is a very different place compared to what it was in the 1990s. I don't think it's anywhere near what we had hoped it to be. I fight racism because racism is the antithesis to equality and equity. Because my own humanity is at stake. Because it's the only way to ensure a better future for all. It is an unjust reality that nobody deserves to live through and fundamentally robs us of our full human potential.